three, two, please God kill me now. One, action. We review children's books so you don't have to. Kid Liquid. Hello there, literature lovers. Today we're gonna be reading The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. This book, which I just read and was very saddened by, is about a tree giving up everything so one little boy could be happy. This book creeped me out. You know, you're not alone on that one. This book actually has a lot of different interpretations and a few detractors. No, there's only one interpretation here. Did you see the picture of the guy in the back? This dude is creepy. He's trying to creep kids out. That doesn't have anything to do with the quality of the... But you, you agree, he's creepy, right? He's a little bit creepy, but that has nothing to do with the actual words in the book. No, the book is worse. It made me think I should have seen that M. Night Shyamalan movie that no one saw because those trees will surely destroy us all. That obviously sentient and mobile tree clearly sacrificed itself to learn our weaknesses to prepare for the first wave of the assault. And the tree was happy. The end. And everyone's freaking gone and dead and the human race destroyed. That movie was actually not about the trees sacrificing themselves at all. It was about the trees destroying us so they could survive. So nothing to do with the giving tree at all. You saw that movie? I heard that movie sucked. How's anybody supposed to trust your judgment as a critic when you go see a movie like that? You know what? That movie made a strong point about climate change, and I think everyone should be aware of that issue. <laughs> no, that movie made a strong point about how movies suck if you make them wrong. The point is, if a tree could, he would kill you and everyone you love. But I'm not gonna stand around and let that happen, no! I've been slowly killing this houseplant to show them that I mean business. How would a tree even know that... You know what? No. Nope. Not even going there, because I know that reasonable questions just bounce off you once you've boarded that train to crazy town. No, no. How about this? I'm gonna try some Dan logic on for size. You know, what if the trees found out about your little houseplant shenanigans and, uh, made them angry? And guess what? They're gonna come after you double. Oh my god. You're right. I need to protect myself. That's it. These trees are coming down right now. Right now. Da Dan? Dan, that is my favorite chainsaw! Mo? Dan? I don't think they're coming back. We suck, we're evil. <laughs> Three, two, please God kill me now, one. <laughs> I like that too much, you can't laugh. But. I know, I know. <laughs>